I would say right now, it's one of the sexiest looking cameras on the market. Blackmagic uh, have, since we've been in the game, have been consistently producing awesome bits of camera technology for price points that are half what they should be elsewhere. And camera gear yeah. as, as, yeah. as well. The, the, the technology they produce is absolutely incredible. The ATEM Mini. Yeah. Four channel video switcher for like £200 or something. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Impossible, you would say. Yes. So the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, which is their top of the range 12K broadcast and cinema camera, yeah. has been slashed in price to half i love this your move what are you gonna do <laughs> they just went do? Here, here is the most amazing camera that's <laughs> today available yeah i'm sure in the future they'll do something else that's yeah, crazy yeah. but today here is our best effort yeah and it will eat i, I hate to say it, it will eat red mm -hmm. is that good yeah and i love red yeah Half price. Half price. And to a price point where, it, where now it's the same price as like flagship mirrorless cameras. They've dropped the price to £4,500. Or I think it works out about US dollars because they do conversions properly. Oh, yeah. Um, it's novel now. No, yeah, it? thanks for that. Australia, big up. Um, £4,500 for... The Earth Mini Pro, it's a 12K camera. It can shoot 12K 60, 8K 120, and uh, 4K 220. Wow. I just absolutely love it. It's insane. And I know camera. that's, <clears throat> it's still a ridiculous price for most people. Yes. But you're talking professional filmmaking equipment. This yeah. isn't your first camera no way this is the thing that you put a pin-up poster of oh you, you you aim for this i mean i'll just i'll bring up our website Not in the bedroom on the wall I kind of aim for it but you you aspire I'd, I'd, to, i would you aspire to it i know what you're saying yeah. i got you um it is a thing of beauty both in what it can produce but also just how it looks interchangeable lens mounts that's a cinema camera thing like red do that so you can put on a pl mount or take it off and put on an ef mount okay ridiculous Here's um here's a weird one to throw at you. Yeah, you take a Canon C two hundred. Would you trade it and put some cash to it and get that every day? You would every day. Wow, every day. And I, I know you love that camera. Yeah, and I'll take our Eva one, which is a similar price. That hurts, that hurts AJ. Too far. <laughs> I know, but there's nothing sentimental about you at all, is no, there? No, I don't care. Give me the best. Wow. Um, it's the other thing that Blackmagic have done with this camera is not only is it incredible color depth and science and, and resolution frame rates, but also because they work on their own codecs, the actual files themselves, they've managed to make them super efficient. You can edit 12K footage from that camera on a MacBook. That's ridiculous. Just like, let that sink yeah. in for a minute. Yeah. On a MacBook. And realistically, it's not aimed for people that are editing on a MacBook. No, no. But it's you can. professional equipment. Um, and to be able to get all of that... It's insane. ...production it's, quality... But I would say right now, it's one of the sexiest looking cameras on the market. Definitely. Definitely. I just don't understand what the move is. Why, why, the, why the massive price drop? 14 stops of dynamic range. 900 megabits per second right right speed that is it's just a do you, vast do you know anything more about it why have they done that why such a big drop it is um almost black magic it's black magic style they just do it every time imagine the remember when the four the pocket 6k came out it was yeah. like there was nothing else like it okay even going back and looking at the pocket cinema camera with its super 16 sensor um there was nothing like it. And they were like, yes, yeah, like 500 quid. Right. Well, that's the price of like a entry level DSLR. It's like the price of a Canon 70D. That was more expensive, yeah. actually. Yeah. And yes, it's not for a casual creator. And yet, 
and maybe not even for someone that wants to make i don't know promotional videos for companies it's not going to be a camera for you because it's going to take a lot more time and effort to work with but for people making wanting to make serious bits of production either for broadcast or as art for films just something cinematic exactly that and so for all of those whiny camera nerds that are like specs war this canon camera doesn't have this this sony camera doesn't have that if you're genuinely chasing specs and want to get that cinematic look well then you're not looking in the right place you need to look at black magic i'm incredibly tempted by that and i think they're <coughs> you, you're buying the right technology at the right time as well yeah definitely because you you're still leaps and bounds ahead mm-hmm. um put it this way you can't upload 12k no. to youtube no I, I don't know about Vimeo, but I, I very much doubt it. I mean, it's okay. like two people will watch it anyway. Yeah, that's it. Nobody's <laughs> going to see it if you put it on Vimeo, but put it there. Um, so, yeah, your leaps and bounds yeah. ahead. That's still a really good spend. It's a ridiculously good investment. You can't, um, in the UK anyway, because that's where we are, and that's how we can figure pricing, the Red Komodo, which is their kind of entry point, little box camera is six thousand pounds as a starting point so it's already like a quarter cheaper um and with this you're getting a fully fledged shoulder mount broadcast camera mental four thousand five hundred pounds just i i don't know how that's black magic going your move well yeah every time da vinci resolve will make it free yeah it's beautiful i love it i love this disruptive very disruptive yeah yeah um and when you start combining all of their offerings when you start looking at their codex b raw um these cameras the smaller production cameras and and then also things like the atem range of switches and now they've got the atem mini extreme which i think is an eight channel version that you can record each channel as well yeah when you start putting it all together you think they are um creating a ready-made production company at relative budget prices which is really hard to follow no one can yeah they can't follow it because i guess maybe because they're a smaller company maybe they don't need the profit margins that sony and canon do to justify the existence of the imaging part of their businesses I guess that's it you're trying to work out <clears throat> how can they produce the quality that they're producing mm. and at that price point it, because there has to be a break somewhere if you're buying it cheap yeah there has to be something that you're going without or but are the other ones just inflated hyped yeah yeah it certainly makes everyone else look like they're they're making a killing doesn't it yeah and so to go full circle back to how we started this segment um, it, they are the most overlooked camera company, especially when it comes to camera bodies themselves. Uh, why they don't get more attention in the um, hype space that is YouTube and Twitter, yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah.